Seven turn right, heading 185, reduce speed 182 or not. 185 on the heading 180 on the speed go fair 007. Speed at 124, reduce speed 160 or not to 40 you mean. 160 to 4, speed 124. Guys, Matt here. Hope you're all well, and welcome back to another X Plane 11 video. I'm kind of trying to alternate the videos between P3D and X Plane at the moment, just so people don't have an aneurysm and complain that I'm favouring one sim over the other. Uh, the last video I did was the Iceland air flight in P3D to Glasgow, and uh, it's funny because the the same night I ended up streaming and I did Manchester to Glasgow because. I was chasing this Storm Alley, which is supposedly nailing the UK at the moment. Uh, and then I went to bed, I wake up, and Jacob, who I've done a video with before, um, we did the Copenhagen Heathrow video back in, I think it was 2014, 2015, uh, said to me, yo, I'm flying down to Corfu, do you fancy joining me? So this is very last minute. Um, it's a little bit sort of disorganized, if that's even a word. Is it dis or unorganized? I have no idea, but I digress. Uh, so we've kind of thrown together a flight plan. It's already pre-planned. We're on VATSIM. You can just see him over there. Uh, and we are in the Flight Factor A320. Now, the last time I put the Flight Factor A320 on my channel was uh, November of last year. And uh, in November of last year, it was basically a completely different product. They've added a bunch of updates. Uh, system, sounds, visuals, yada, yada, yada. Um, so it'll probably look completely different. Uh, what else is there to say about this? Okay, yeah, it's scenery, UK 2000, uh, Manchester, and, uh, I already said we're on VATSIM, so that's fine. Using Project Fly, and, uh, you can actually see that our flight is set up here. Um, we are doing Kestrel to Hotel Bravo from, uh, from Manchester to Corfu. And the, uh, there is some really, really nice fly Tampa scenery for, uh, for Corfu. Um, it's actually oh, maybe one of my favorites in X-Plane. We also have an X-Plane, uh, the real uh, weather, FS Global real weather, which is powering the sky, default clouds, um, X-Enviro for the shaders, which is basically like a PTA for X-Plane. Ironically, the same developer that originally made PTA made uh, X Enviro. And uh, we will be greeted by the ortho scenery. But unfortunately, it's pretty low cloud based. So once we get out of here, all of this beautiful ortho will go to waste. However, if you saw the uh, Dublin video, we actually flew right over the top of Manchester. And uh, you got to see the airport. So here it is in person. So, I reckon that's enough of the intros. There's some other people here. There's another Thomas Cook. There's a Jet 2. Not another Jet 2. Another Thomas. What's with all the Thomas Cooks? Is, is that a Ryanair over there? Yes, it is. There's a Ryanair over there. Um, Thomas Cook there. Scandy there. And then, of course, the Anomaly and American Airlines 737. So, everything's cold and dark. I've not done anything. I'll speak with Jacob, see what he's doing, and then we shall go from there. Sup? Yo. Yo, yo, yo. All right, so you already got clearance? Yeah, I already got clearance. Well, my aircraft is still black. So I will put some power into it. Otherwise, rip. There we go. Uh, are we running off the exact same flight plan? Yeah, uh, we are. If you're using the one I sent to you, then we are, yeah. Yeah, so you're taking a zero fuel weight of 60.5. Yes. Damn, that's heavy. It's a shorter flight, so... What, what, does that mean they're usually full? Always. Wow. Today I learned... So, in that case, passengers, full. What about cargo? Do they care about that or no? Um, 
Well, to, to match the zero fuel weight, I've set four passengers and a cargo of 7,800 kilos. It's like roughly six, uh, 60.5. So it is. Set. Packs. Set. And the fuel we are taking is 11 tons. It's the only part of the flight factor I don't like is the fuel truck. Yeah, that's rather annoying. Like, what actually. is that? It's longer than the actual plane. And it's got like these monster truck tires. And I've just connected the better pushback and yeah. my entire plane just went black. Yeah, because you probably didn't put the APU on before you did it. No, I did not. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that's different about an X-plane especially. Um, when it does stuff, it does it methodically. So if you have the APU off and the, gen uh, the external power on, you might as well say goodbye to everything. Yep. Good thing you're not ready, because uh, I'm not. <laughs> it's fine. you got loads of time. Right, nav lights. Um, ADIRSs. I don't know what they've done with the cockpit, but it looks nice. I don't know if they've changed some textures. Oh, wait, we're not allowed to say cockpit anymore. It's got to be called flight deck. Yeah, SJWs I've, I've installed some, uh, some 2K textures, like the blue version of them. Uh, so I was stroking with FPS in, in the flight packs, but it looks really nice. How are you struggling with FPS? We have the ex basically the same system. I don't know. What cost did Nexi are you using? 30. Great, it's going to take us all day to get there. Uh, yeah. 350. Um, uh, wait request. Done. Alright, so, ground is, uh, I assume it's still online. Yeah, 1 to 1.85. Oh, wait, it has, oh, it saved all my FMS. Yeah, 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 as long as you do it within a certain time limit, by the way. Gives you, I think, I think it's five Until minutes. Until the battery runs out, I'm guessing. Yeah. Apparently, Manchester Ground loves feedback. Although... Nope, the RAS is back online as well. Nice. Yeah. Dodge the bullet. What's the meta here? Let's have a look. Uh, 1009 still, right? Uh, one zero zero eight. Okay. It's awkward when you don't have uh, the luxury of V pilot. Just trying to figure out like ATIS info and stuff like that. Yeah, it's I, I always. Uh, uh, Special four, shall we do that? Really I tend to start. use um, active sky for the weather and the waiting for the summit to happen, and then the event I usually just get from. Just before Charlie Julia, yeah, Roger. Uh, that's by actually. I actually, I just opened that spy and it's just closed itself. Yeah, it does that for me sometimes. It's uh, started doing that recently and I don't know why. Oh, there's no ATIS because lol ground. Yeah. One zero zero seven now, dude. <laughs> it's going down. Gonna die. Dude, how are people following us? They don't even know. Wait, are there actually other people going to yeah, this Yeah, this, look on the other side of the pier. There's two of them going. No, we're the only ones with flight plans to call food. They've got flight plans to... What's that? Dubrovnik? Oh, uh, yeah. It, it's, I, I just looked on VATSIM, not Project Fly. Never mind. All right. I'll get clearance and get out of here. Right. Why is my throttle at Toga? What are you doing? Yeah, it does that to me too. Whenever you load it up, it's at Toga. That's awkward. Imagine if I had just not seen that. <laughs> Started no, the, the engine, then just got into the terminal <laughs> building, completely jumped the pushback. To... <laughs> yeah, uh, I actually did that once when I was testing. Uh, nice. But it bitches at you when you try to turn on the engine, but it's not an idle position. Oh, fair enough. 
Grounds MX122 ready for a pushback and start up. Never get the audio levels right with that. Stand 16, push and start approved. Push and start approved. Push and start approved. Manchester ground. Canx 961 request. Alright. As if I get wrecked. Canx 961 request, actually. The delay on that sim actually screws you. Yeah, it is really annoying. Canx 961, taxi fire, Delta, Kilo, Juliet, Southern Point, Juliet 1. Delta, Kilo, Juliet, hold Juliet. One, Canix, nice one. You guys sounds far too cheery for life. I reckon I can actually talk now. Ground uh, Kestrel 2, Hotel Bravo, 23, A320, QNH1007, clearance to Corfu. Kestrel 2, Hotel Bravo, Manchester Ground, good afternoon. Uh, you find a list of departure, you need to refill with a sand departure, please. All right, we'll blame planning for that. Uh, we'll get back to you in just a second. Nice one, Jacob. I didn't even check the flight plan. I actually told you if you'd read what I uh, wrote to you. Just report, Charlie. Just report, Charlie. Just report, Charlie. Yeah. That's what happens when you trust free. the people you fly with. They screw you over. Just <laughs> report, Charlie. It's literally <laughs> one change. But I pre-filed it, so I can't like. Yeah, the only way I could uh, alter it is you have to disconnect. And uh, just scroll up in, in Discord and use the routing I pasted there. And then pre fire it again and log back on. <sighs> it's only like the first two. Well, it's the first waypoint in the first. Yeah, I know. It's finish. stupid. I mean, you could probably have just done it for me if I just said, well, just change it to, to Samba then. Yeah. It's not like. It's really no big problem. Well, apparently it is because it's fastened, but right. So in that case, we have to refile our life away. Oh no! I already burned forty kilograms of fuel sitting on the APU. Forty kilograms. I'm, I'm not gonna make it. The company's gonna be on the phone for. Oh, look, there's a Virgin over there. We found you, and he's flying with us. <laughs> Nah, it's not a 737, so that's not you. <laughs> Might as well be. Is anyone talking on frequency? No. Alright, I'm gonna try again. Uh, Ground Kestrel, two Hotel Bravos. Uh, we've refiled via Samba. Hopefully that's worked. And uh, clearance to Corfu, please. Kestrel, two Hotel Bravo, thanks. Clear to Corfu, Samba, one that Romeo departure. Uh, Squawk zero two zero zero. Clear to Corfu, Samba one Romeo, and zero two zero zero Kestrel two Hotel Bravo. Kestrel two Hotel Bravo, repack correct. QNH one zero zero seven. So QNH one zero zero seven will call ready Kestrel two Hotel Bravo. All right. Is it me or is this controller? He, he's really clear. Uh, it, well, it's clear for me because I adjust my EQ settings on my mixer, so that sim doesn't sound bad. Yeah, like he, he's really clear for me as well. And usually, that sim controllers are not. Mm. I don't know. I, th I think, you know, when, when you find someone with a really clear mic, you should just be like, yo, what headset are you using? And then just recommend that to everybody. Yeah. Right. So, the IRSs will be done in one minute. I assume all yours is back to normal now. Yeah, I'm ready. I think I'm just going to request push so uh, we don't like, climb. Yeah, yeah, get other. going now then. Well, that was you then. <laughs> so <laughs> why is it going on south with your microphone? <laughs> South. November 8-5 Nina to Honolulu. And then from Honolulu, uh, UL15 to Lesdo, the amount of times I've actually spelled that wrong.
two hours later. Lima995 to Tigra. Come on, Tigra. Insert. Perfect. What are you doing performance wise? I am doing flaps 2, uh, D rate uh, 55 degrees. Uh, we did 1122, just in your program. V1 146. V rotate 149, V2 152. Why are you using flaps too? Because that was what Topcat recommended. You trust a program that's 500 years old? Well, I mean, it's actually got a profile hmm. for this plane, so. Really? What? Yeah. That's impressive. I'm only using flaps one, I'm not brave enough for flaps two. Uh, why is my IRS being IRS? -y? There you go. Uh, that's actually quite a mystical sign, but you really believe the team was at 5. I actually love better pushback. Just, ah, please. This is awkward. Well, it says my IRSs have aligned. Yeah, it takes like um, half a minute, a minute before it uh, shows up in your display. It's after it's aligned. And really? I'm just going to hold this guy up that's just pushing behind me, or attacking behind me. It's going to be great. Are you blocking him? Yeah, look. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Touch the ground very good afternoon. That's Luke. Catch you one, four, five, two, seven, six. Airport touch me three, twenty one. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> you sneaky. Honestly, there's no way. How do they find us? This is a problem with Project Fly. Like, as soon as someone goes online, you instantly know about it. <laughs> He's such a sneaky. Honestly. Right. <laughs> one, four, five, two, back, right. A Twitch family outing on YouTube. Anyway, I am closing up. I don't like it when people say that. Stand by two. I just count to two and call again, and it'll piss them off. <laughs> Okay. Better pushback memes inbound. Oh, I don't know which way you'd want me to push. I reckon. Actually, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna ask him before just I use the fantastic option. There actually is some better pushback. Connect the talk, and then it's already. And then you can plan once he's given you a direction. Wait, how do you do that? So you. Uh, Press on start push back, and then uh, once you, you've entered the bird's eye view, you can just select connect first, and then it exits and then connects the top. Today I learned. No way. That's great. I didn't realize you could just YOLO connect it for the sake of it. Or well, watch out, make sure you're on an APU because that's what Yeah, 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 I'm not stupid. I've made that miss well. Okay, let me, let me rephrase that. I'm not stupid anymore. I've done that a million times. Yeah, it's the first time that's happened to me. Anyway, I should probably get out of this guy's way. Here comes a pushback, Toog. It's one of those dirty ones that lift you up as well. Yeah. It's called a uh, gold hoffer. Yeah. Castro 1 for Juliet, taxi run point Juliet 1, the Vice Delta, Kilo and Juliet. What if I Juliet 1, my Delta, Kilo and Juliet, Castro 1 for Juliet? It's an awful lot of Juliet's in that. Castro 2, Hotel Bravo, request push and start from uh, stand 2 3. Castro 2, Hotel Bravo, stand 2 3, push and start approved, face east on Lima. East on Lima, pushed on approved from 23, Kestrel 2, Hotel Bravo. Well, there's that question answered.
Yep. How do you then pre-plan it? Uh, then you go, you click start pushback again. East on Lima! Wait. Yeah, it's like... I'll push it <laughs> You were just about to say, wait, which way is <laughs> No, I got confused, okay. I'm just saying, we've got one more I want to go to the top view, but why does it always show you the other way around when you click it? It's so weird. Back we go! This is like Manchester Relops flies to Corfu. It's actually quite busy, it's nice. Right, I am starting engine numero de... All fight Romeo departure. With a one one that two two repack crates. Between H one zero zero seven, fully ready. I really have to get used to steering this on the ground. It feels so different than the FS Labs. <laughs> this is like so nostalgic because I've actually done this flight IRL when I was like still in my dad's pants. So I don't really remember it, so it's not actually nostalgic at all, but whatever. Yeah, it's a nice flight. Oh, there goes Jet 2. What, taking off? Yeah. Where? Oh, yeah, there he is. What's he in a 7.5? 7.3. 7.3. There's no further ATC. One of the Unicom ones. He estimates. Bye bye. Engine 2 is up. Start engine uh, 1. One of the Unicom. We'll want to do the flight. Shall we? That's a really good altimeter right there. Hey, can I have the pressure the... setting? Yeah, no problem, mate. Push and start approved. Face it. <laughs> 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 oh, God. I'll oh, miss that sim. Is there Scandinavia going in front of me? Guess there is. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Wow, I'm being blocked by a Thomas yeah, Cook A321. Everybody just wants to leave now. Holy shit. It's great. It's insane. 1007, But of course, there's a Delta that's pushing as well. Fantastic. Along with his American buddy waiting at the runway. Right. Still no weather radar, because memes. That one. Oh, so Ryan and Delta just pushing over the nine four the the Newcastle Pole Hill at five at Rainier departure. Make sure that's three two seven seven correctly. Up by one, perfect. So is disconnected as bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Estral two Hotel Bravo is uh, ready for taxi when the other company moves. Estral two Hotel Bravo, Roger Taxi Lima. Delta, Kilo, Juliet, Point, Juliet 1. Uh, Lima, Delta, Kilo, Juliet, Juliet 1, uh, Kestrel 2, Hotel Bravo. Alright, parking brake, release, power in. I love that I push, what, like five minutes before you, and as a result, there's going to be <coughs> one, two, yeah, three, four, four, five three, planes on between us. Well, I just tried to power off the stand with full right nose gear and almost snapped it, so. Good 
Is this guy ever going to move? Do you do hold position, you're number two for taxi behind Orion in 737. Uh, Is that answered? We're there one one two two hold position, you're number two for taxi. Roger, that's only position number 232, we're the one after two. Four minutes since we left the stand, and we're just position stuck. Position 4, Charlie, QDO. Contact to Manchester Radio, uh, Manchester Radio 118, decimal 575. Oh, we got radar online, how cute. Uh, 18570 for radar, uh, next door, 452 there. Luke, can you just move? Sorry, that was Kessel 1452. Joshua 1452, apologies. Thank you, via Lima, Delta, Kilo, Juliet, Sarah Point, Juliet 1. That wing view is phenomenal. Okay, thank you, Lima. Where are you uh, in like the grand scheme of the numbers at the runway? lining up now. Wow. Are you on radar? Yeah. Yeah, just got my take up here, honestly. How many people are behind you? Five before you. <laughs> no, but Luke's in front of me, so does that mean I'm number seven? Yes. Oh. <laughs> what a meme. I should have just done one engine. Although I have enough fuel to get to like Afghanistan, so we're okay. Okay, turn all the Christmas lights on. Yeah, dude. Light her up. In the day. Oh, it's got RAS as well. I turn that off, honestly. It's the most annoying thing ever. I mean, when it works, it's nice, but it rarely works. Yo, I've actually it never goes, heard it IRL. Every 954 stand, but 904 No, I don't think the uh, company's user, but I don't know. Luke is away with the fairies. He's gone. In his 321. I bet you he's flying the Aerosoft approved. Professional. Yes. Alright, let's go. You'll see me just turning onto the parallel. For once in my life, I'm doing a reasonable speed taxi. Normally, I just hammer it. Oh, look at you there. Oh, that was so nice. D rate was perfect. Yeah, dude. Away you go. See you in Corfu. Three hours time. Yeah, dude. But you know, the best part about Corfu is there is no ILS. Well, actually, there might be, but there's not Don't an ILS that. where I'm going. You know, have you seen what they're doing now? They keep Sorry. replacing... Oh, you're right up. Oh my god, it handles so well. Yeah, it's nice. Right, you were saying... Sorry. And th they're replacing all of the fun approaches in Europe with yeah. RNAVs. 
Yeah, and it's pissing me off. Because you never get the fun ones anymore. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but... Am I giving way to this right now, or is he giving way to me? Was there one one two two taxi via hotel Juliet to one point to Juliet to one behind the Ryanair seven three seven? Yeah, I'm just going to the Ryanair seven three seven. Seven three seven. Oh, he's giving way to me. Yes, Ryanair, because you are inferior in every possible way. Just one four five two contact Manchester radar one one eight decimal five seven five. Bye bye. Bow to me. It has to be a Ryanair meme in every video I make now because people get so triggered. You should see the comment section, dude. There's an entire thread with like 200 replies about a Ryanair thing, a comment I made in my last video. Even though I was flying Ryanair. People are hurt by everything notice. Yep. Kestrel 2, Hotel Bravo, contact Manchester Radar, 118, decimal 575, bye-bye. 118575, Kestrel 2, Hotel Bravo, bye-bye. Manchester Radar, good afternoon, Kestrel 2, Hotel Bravo, is at Juliet 1. We'll hold you at one, Kestrel 2 has the Are you on Unicom? No, I'm still on it. Yeah, I'm on Unicom. Kestrel 2, Hotel Bravo, Manchester Radar, 118, Well, they've moved the planes out of the way quite efficiently. I'm uh, technically now number one. Dude, the airport pub is so nostalgic. Did you any... Okay, behind the departing company from Juliet 1, we'll line up on wait 23 right behind Kestrel 2, Hotel Bravo. Alright, cabin crew. Seats for departure. Did you do packs off, Jacob, or packs? On. On, okay. I can't remember if they turn packs off, I'll be honest with you. I always mean to do packs off, but I always forget it. Well, let's go sink, Corey, Manchester, let's take it. Okay, then, Craig 7, Altimeter, and... Why does this guy keep asking for the altimeter? Every transmission, he's like, Hello, ground, request push and start, and the altimeter. And now you just requested something on radar and the altimeter. Uh, this is uh, seven FM seven. Okay, three couple of miles. This whole group. Okay. I love the wind. Control one four seven. five two. Report your passenger. The really solid add-on for expanding yeah, Dude, if you think this handles nicely, you should fly the Tolis A319. It handles better, yeah, it just is not as complete as, like, as far as systems and sounds and stuff. It just looks really, really bad. Yeah, you're right, but it, that, that, the flight model dude, is fantastic. Nice. Alright, flight's on. And 
mind we're using CFM engines, so it's not going to take 500 years to get to uh, cruise. Precisely. That's what you need. I wish I had a weather radar though. That'd be nice. Kestrel 2, hotel driver, runway 2 3 right. Kestrel Easy. Take Let's take off 2 3 right, Kestrel 2, hotel driver. Stable. Man flex 55, SRS runway auto first blue. People even talking about it in uh, in global chat. Van hundred knots. Talking about what? The fact that you're flying. <laughs> the one I don't take. Oh, sit right, guild up. Why did they go into alpha floor? What the hell? Uh, rip. Hang on, I can fix this. Alright, we're good. I don't know why I did that, that was weird. Uh, I need climb thrust. There you go, thrust climb. Uh, 1600 feet, Kestrel 2 Hotel Bravo. Kestrel 2 Hotel Bravo, Roger, climb 9 flight level 110. Climb flight level 110, Kestrel 2 Hotel Bravo. Dude, it went into okay, Alpha so Floor then, as I rotated, yeah. and I didn't even rotate that fast. Um, a bit early, maybe? It, it, sat, it, like, it felt like he got hit by something. Dude, this ortho is so nice. Oh, never mind. Can't see it anymore. Bye. <laughs> okay, I can see it. Climb climb Yeah, I can see it now. Just about. Well, come on, next plane. Don't just be clouds okay, everywhere. One, one, two, two, Manchester, are you on frequency? Yeah, one, one, two, three, three. What was there? One, one, two, two, just checking your frequency. Oh, that's Juliet. Holding Juliet one, time on the. I don't like that. I'm really disorientated looking through those clouds. Standard pressure. Okay, we'll do the taxi and the turnoffs for now. There's a one one two two. There'll be a short delay. Roger, that's all right. Roger, that's all right. Just one four five two. No. Did you? Oh, you don't have any clouds, do you? Um, I have a few. It's not. I'm stuck in the thick of them. Yeah. Oh, now I'm in a, a layer between two. Wow, that looks weird. That looks so weird. I'm literally sandwiched between two layers of cloud. And I can just see the ortho underneath. And it's absolutely chucking it down. We got one one two two breaking line up uh, one way to three right. Who's that one one two two watch hold? Turn the landing lights off, get that extra thirty feet a minute or whatever it is they give you. I just wanna see it over the wing as we break through the clouds. Can just bench press my desk. Yeah, I'm really one, looking two, two, forward to Kestrel two hotel Bravo. Bye bye. Yeah. Sorry, carry on. I'm really looking forward to uh, Active Sky. It's gonna be great. Okay. To actually have realistic yeah. weather as well. Dude, seriously, we're still not through these clouds. Oh wait, that's because I stopped the climb. Three five zero. Open her up, boys. Damn, the 
there's still clouds even higher. I thought X-Plane fixed the repeating clouds. I still see like duplicate clouds in front of each other. Don't ask, be honest. This is some insane weather. clouds now again. Meanwhile, flight level 250, clear skies. It's spooky. I can actually see the ground now though. It's starting to clear a little bit. But we still got a huge layer of clouds still to go through. But I mean, I'm only passive flight level 140, so... I think it might be like clearish, but it's just really hazy. Damn, like ortho is great, but when you have tiles that aren't like the same type of color, it looks yeah. really bad. I mean, there is a tool that will color correct them, but you have to redo the tile. Which is kind of That's a okay. pain. Yeah, I see. I, I, as you said that, I see exactly what you mean. I've got two tiles that do that here. Yeah. And there's also three further up where, like, there's three squares that are darker than the rest of it. Yeah. Guess where we're flying over now? Possibly. Exactly. Which leads me on to say, <laughs> talk about swift ways into things. This video will make an appearance before Cosford, so if you are planning on going 5th of October, RAF Cosford in the hangar, um, all day, flight sim expo, or not expo, but flight sim show, um, I've got to do some talking at 12.45, so if you want to hear me speak for an hour, then come say hi. Jacob will be there, and uh, what is it, 16 other members? of the, uh, the Project Fly slash moderation team. Uh, you will be able to identify us very easily. I promise you that. Because we'll be either walking around in giant, or not giant, but flamboyant orange black box t-shirts or Project Fly t-shirts. Yeah. That's uh, 5th of October, which is what now? Like 15 days away? Yeah, yep. it's close. 15 days away, dude. Where has the time gone? I remember when we were in Vegas and we were just like, oh, CrossFit's ages away, and now it's here. Yeah. Time for us? It does. No pun intended. <laughs> dude, this is such a weird weather formation. Like, it's not cloud. well, I don't know whether it's cloud or haze. I used to mix your boat. What climb rate are you getting? 900 feet. 
Yeah, I'm getting 1,600 feet. It's not doing very well. What winds are you having? 57 knot crosswind. Yeah, I'm having 240 degrees at 79 knots. You can just about see the ortho down there. I mean, it does look good even through the crap weather. Yeah. Once you get to a certain altitude, it looks really good. Well, you say that, but I'm using an actual weather engine, so that simulates overcast properly. So if it's overcast, you are not seeing below that level. Can't really say the same for me, though. Dude, I, I'm in the clouds again. At flight level 200 now. Oh, that's spooky. That is spooky. Flying in the crab towards some clouds is so weird. Oh, and here we go. We're about to hit some more. And we're in some more. Eventually, we'll actually come out of this. That's going to be clouds all the way. It's insane. And now it's really turbulent as well. Well, actually, it wasn't. It was just like one little bump. I reckon above this now it'll be that I'll just be blue skies. If it's not, I'm gonna freak. I remember coming back from uh, Spain when I was younger, and we were over central France, and we actually were stuck in cloud at like 36k, which to me was just incredible. Like you never see clouds that high. Well, that is rather tall. Yeah. Just everything went white and it was really bumpy. It takes towering cumulonimbus to a whole new level. It's like towering upon towering upon towering. I, I actually think we're just gonna stay in this all the way. <laughs> There's no way out, it's just gray. I'm getting 1300. Have you leveled at 35? No. Flight level 290 and climb. Oh, wait. I think we might be coming out of it. I don't know what's happening. I think we're piercing the upper layer. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, it's torrential rain now. What is going on? <laughs> it's great weather. Dude, how is it this bad? Oh, wait, I think it, I think this is it. I think this is it. Is there any more above us? How is there still more weather above us? What is going on, UK? This is more of an anti-climax than the, the landing's gonna be. Like, the actual sky is pitch gray. And it's not, there's no blue in it. It's like, oh, the blue color's been taken away. Are we turning left? Oh, yeah. That's what I do like about X-Plane is when you're flying past clouds at a reasonable speed, it actually looks like you're going Mach 2. Whereas yeah, in P3D, yeah. there's just no sense of speed. Like, that is really disorientating going through those clouds right now. Oh, yeah. that is horrible. It's just all the basic stuff. It feels like, uh, it feels like X-Plane gets right, where, yeah. sure, P3D has loads of better add-ons, but it's just basic stuff like that. It doesn't happen. I didn't like that. I did not like that at all. Honestly, this is the t the only time I've ever been interested in actually climbing to cruise. Because I'm just completely curious about what it's going to be like up there. I 
I'm only going to reach top of cruise in a hundred miles or top of climb. Yeah, I should be at top of climb like 40 miles after Biggin. Uh, uh, or like 20 actually. Yeah, it's about the same for me. Yeah. Just before Sandy. Oh, I'm flying right over Heathrow! Yeah, well, good for you, because I won't be able to see that. Got the scenery for this one. Oh wait, it's cleared up? I think? Nope, maybe? I'm so confused. Dude, there's even more clouds above us. I've never been in clouds since like the level 150, so I think. Alright, well, that I reckon is all of the hype about clouds out of the way. I don't know why it took so long to climb through them. That was pretty insane, but there you go. It's a UK weather for you at the moment. But uh, that will conclude part one of our flight from Manchester to Corfu and uh, hopefully nothing too spicy happens. I reckon once we've cleared the UK and we get in towards Central Europe, then uh, it'll be relatively straightforward. Uh, we'll remain on that sim. Uh, as you saw, flying with Jacob, and actually if I look at Project Fly, um, I think there's a few of us to be fair. Uh, there's Jacob, there's me. Uh, oh wait, no, there's Luke. There's Jacob, and there's me. So it's like a train of us all heading down there. We land in just over two hours, uh, and that'll be with uh, part two. So, as always, thank you for the support. Thanks for your viewership. Appreciate it. And until the next one, take care. Ta-ra. For now.